Over the last few weeks, I posted 100 Instagram Reels to see if it was possible to grow on Instagram from Reels in 2024, and these are my results. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. A few months back, I made a very similar video to this, but with YouTube Shorts. So instead of posting 100 Instagram Reels, I posted 100 YouTube Shorts in the span of a month to see if it was possible to grow just from YouTube Shorts in 2024. And today's video's results is actually very, very different to my YouTube Shorts video. So if you wanna watch it, I'll have it linked up here or in the description. As I also mentioned that because now I'm monetized on YouTube, I actually made some money from the views that I got on YouTube Shorts versus the views that I got on Instagram Reels, I made zero cents from it. So let's just get into it. A little bit of a backstory before we get into it, I just wanted to mention that I actually have been posting Instagram Reels before in the past, since like 2020, kind of when it first came out. And a lot of my Instagram Reels from like 2020 to 2021 actually have gone viral and I did gain a lot of my followers because of Instagram Reels, so I already know that this probably will work, but most of my reels are just reposted TikToks. So great for me because I didn't have to put any extra effort into it except for just downloading it then reposting it on the other platform. But since 2022, when I kind of stopped posting as much on TikTok, it meant that I kind of stopped posting as much on YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels. And I haven't really been that consistent since. My highest peak of followers back in 2021 was 35,200 followers. I think I have a screenshot somewhere. But since then, since I kind of stopped posting on TikTok and Instagram Reels because of that, I started losing a lot of followers. I went all the way down to 18.3 thousand followers, <laughs> which is a lot that I lost. So basically what I was trying to say is that I have been posting Reels for a while, gained a lot of my followers from that. And before I started posting for this experiment, my most recent post was back in like, July 2023, so like over a year ago. So my account has been pretty much inactive for a really long time. So I really wanted to see if it was possible to grow again in 2024 after being inactive on Reels for like over a year. And by the way, I posted three Reels a day. I kind of took a little bit of a break after like the 20th video or something because none of them were going viral at first and I was losing a lot of followers. I went from 18.3 thousand followers down to 17.9 thousand followers. So I lost about 400 followers within the first few days of posting Instagram Reels because they were all flopping. So I kind of like stopped for a little bit. I took a little bit of a break for like a week or so because I was like, I don't want this to fail. I don't want to lose more followers than I'm already losing. I'm losing like an average of like a hundred followers a week. So this was like speeding up the process. And then I kind of went back into it because I was like, I have to complete this experiment. If they all flop and I lose more followers, then so be it. I just have to finish this experiment. You just never know. And I'm so glad I, ca I continued because a few videos started to go viral like actually viral and then one of them actually did really really well and let's just jump straight into the analytics so I can talk about it. Alright let's dive into the analytics across this experiment and because I posted exactly 100 videos I have an exact percentage of what videos have less than 100 likes, between 100 and 1000 likes, 1,000 and 10,000 likes, and because I only have five videos with over 10,000 likes, I have them in ranked in the top five least to most liked and views videos. So the first one is videos with less than 100 likes, and unfortunately there was a lot of them at 44 videos. Almost half of the videos that I posted has less than 100 likes and most of them were the first few videos that I posted on for this experiment. So out of the 44 videos that I posted that got less than 100 likes, they got a combined total of 2,459 likes and have a combined total of 77.5 thousand views. And from those videos, I only gained seven followers. So let's go to the next category, which was videos that got between over 100 and less than 1,000 likes. And there were 40 of them. So far together, that's 84 videos have less than 1,000 likes. So yeah, this experiment didn't really do as well to begin with. Some of them kind of evened out, but 
of those 40 videos that have less than a thousand likes but more than 100 it has a combined total of 10,211 likes yes I did count all of the likes so on every single video so make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it took me a long time to go through every single video that I posted and calculate the likes and the views and the followers. I also got 247.3 thousand views across those videos and I gained 42 followers, which is not a lot of followers, but better than nothing, I'll take it. My next category was videos between more than 1,000 likes and just under 10,000 likes. And there were 11 of those videos and they have a combined total of 36,874 likes. Those videos have a combined total of 447.5 thousand views, which is crazy. And I gained a total of 80 followers from those 11 videos. The next category is actually the top five most liked videos, as I only have five videos with more than 10,000 likes. So I'm gonna go from the fifth most liked all the way up to the most liked and viral video that I have. And I'm gonna talk a bit about them, like each video separately. So my fifth most liked video was a video of me pretending to fly like a fairy. There was this trend back in 2022 where you hold your phone where your legs are, jump in the air, then lift your phone up and then hold your phone as high as you can, run around like a room or something to make it look like you're flying higher than you usually are. That video did pretty well. It got 12,500 likes, 264,000 views, and it helped me gain 33 new followers. Then my fourth most liked video was this like mini trend back in TikTok, I think 2022, and you'd be like, oh my God, who peed in the pool? And then they showed someone that they are obsessed, like some celebrity that they are, that they are obsessed with, and then it shows them drinking the water. It sounds disgusting, I know, but it's a joke, okay? That's the point of it. That video got 47,000 likes and five 585,000 views and gained me 118 new followers, which is pretty okay. Then my third most liked video was a video about another Billie Eilish one. This was like the first video of this experiment that did pretty well, like went kind of viral. I think it was my 19th video that I posted and it started to get like a lot of likes and views. The sound is like, wow. Well, this is gonna be my personality for the rest of my life. And it shows, you know, I discovered Billie Eilish through this one music video. That video has 150,000 likes, a huge jump from my fourth most liked. That video has 1.5 million views, which is crazy. And I gained 309 followers, which is, I was hoping for more, but Whatever, I'll take it. Going on to my second most liked video, this one was about me um, pretending to be like sad and depressed. At the time that that trend was going around, there was also another trend which was the um, Chris Jenner, Gucci Gucci, Yaya Data meme, um, which is like basically the new Rick roll. And that video has 188,000 likes, 1.6 million views, and only gained me 235 followers. I feel like it, it should be the more likes you get, the more followers you get, but for some reason, my second most liked video had gained me less followers than my third most liked video. So I don't know how that works, that's really random. Let's go on to my most liked video now. This one was unexpectedly mega viral. You probably already know how many likes and views it has as I kind of would have mentioned it in the thumbnail. But this one is so random because this is another fairy video of me pretend, pretending to fly, but it's just me pretending to fly outside. So what I did was I have my phone on, on this really long tripod that I had, and then I kind of just like jumped and went up in the air and it kind of showed the top of my house and like the neighborhood and then kind of me landing down on this deck that we had. That video, that my most liked video, jumped all the way up to 485,000 likes. It's insane, it's probably still going viral as we speak. And the views, oh my god, it's at 12.5 million views. 
like I mentioned before, I had been posting Instagram Reels back in 2020 to 2021, and my most liked and viewed video was this 5 minute craft video. It has 4.2 million views and had 387,000 likes, I think. So for this one to smash it in views and like gain, gain an additional 100,000 more likes is absolutely insane. And despite having almost half a million likes and 12 million views that this video got, it only gained me 1,680 followers. Now that's a lot, 1,680, that's, that's a lot, but compared to four, almost half a million likes, I feel like it should have been more. I feel like it prob I probably should have gained minimum at least like 10,000 followers from that. And then a grand total altogether of all of these videos that I posted, all 100 videos, I gained 932.6 thousand likes what that's almost a million likes that is crazy just from 100 videos that has a combined total of 17.2 million views which is crazy and i only gained two and a half thousand followers so that's really weird to think about. I feel like because a lot of the videos that I posted, I'm not really talking with my actual voice and most of them I also don't have my face in it. Just that's because of what the trend was about, like the flying one didn't have my face in it. So maybe that was like I missed out on more followers because maybe if they had like that human connection with seeing a face and hearing my voice and like having like a funny video or like me telling you a funny story or doing something else that will probably gain me more followers. Can you grow on Instagram in 2024 just by posting 100 reels? Yes, um, but also no. I feel like, yet again, the high amounts of likes and views doesn't justify two and a half thousand followers that I gained. I feel like if I posted this many on TikTok or YouTube shorts, I probably could have gotten way more subscribers or followers so I feel like with this you need to worry about your niche and like what type of videos you're posting maybe talk in like in your actual video do like a story time or like a day in my life or whatever I've seen those a lot on my reels for you page but that's just kind of what I like to see so maybe it's very different to you the best way to grow on Instagram reels is by definitely posting I feel like if you're you're definitely holding yourself back think of it as the more videos you post, the more chances you are to have a video go viral. Yet again, the first like 18 videos I posted flopped and I lost a bit of followers. You're definitely gonna lose a bit of followers to begin with. But if I had stopped before I posted that 19th video, then I would have missed out on a video getting 150,000 likes and getting like 1.5 million views because that was my 19th video that did well. And if I didn't know that, if I just stopped before it was too late, then I would have missed out on so many more videos that went viral. Like my most liked and my most viewed video, I would have missed out on that if I didn't post it. So if you're just starting, post a lot of videos, be consistent. I posted three of them a day, so maybe don't do three a day, but do minimum once a day. And over the span of like three months, so that will be like almost 100 videos. But that gives you more chances to go viral. Think of it as like a raffle ticket. If you buy one raffle ticket, you have one chance to win the raffle, right? If you buy a hundred raffle tickets, you have more chances to win the lottery. Win the lottery, win the raffle. And this is the same with Instagram or TikTok or YouTube. The more videos you post, the more chances you are to have a video go viral. And that's how you grow on social media. You have a lot of videos that do well and that's how you grow your following. But anyways, hopefully this experiment inspired you to start posting on social media, whether it was YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, or any other platform. I thought those are the top three main ones, but hopefully this was inspiring to you to start posting. Yes, I do have a bit of experience on social media, and I did have it a little bit easy with this experiment because I was just reposting TikTok, so I already had like 100 videos ready to post. But just look at what you're seeing on your kind of explore page, for you page, whatever, and the videos that you enjoy seeing and videos that you think you wanna start posting, 
just do it, try it. You never know what will do well and what won't. You might think a video that you don't think is going to do that well may actually be your most popular videos. Like my five minute craft videos, I only just posted one. I didn't think of posting more and everyone in the comment section told me to make more because these, these are funny and then ended up making a 52 part series on my 5 minute craft be like series which blew up my TikTok account helped me grow to over 20,000 subscribers on YouTube and gained me over 30,000 followers here on Instagram I'm also thinking of reposting all of them again just to see if they are still viral worthy I'm going to post them on YouTube shorts and Instagram reels like one by one to see if like they have a higher chance of doing viral again because they went viral at one point so they might do well again, so I might do that. I'm really happy with this. I definitely want to start posting more reels, and yeah, if you found this video helpful, if you are inspired to start posting again, make sure you let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It will really help my channel out. And follow me on Instagram, obviously. Support me on Patreon too, as all the 17 million views that I got across all these 100 videos, I did not make a single cent, unfortunately. So maybe you want to support me on Patreon to help support my small channels that I'm slowly growing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!